Hello everyone, welcome back to Nitro Addict Channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to crochet this beautiful poncho summer top. This top is super cute and I love it so much. And the yarn is just perfect for this project. All right, and for this project, I decide to be kind of like poncho style with the side open and you can use the drawstring to close up the side and also you can use the drawstring to decide your own poncho top with many different ways at the video there as you can see and also you can use the belt to close up the poncho summer top as well. I think it's really cute. All right, and I have free written pattern for sizes extra small, go up to double XL, it's available on my blog. But if you prefer the PDF, pinnable version, it's available for purchase on my Etsy, Ravelry, and Lovecraft.com. And I will put all the links in the description below. And for this picture here, I'm wearing size small. And for this poncho summer top, I decide to be like a loose fit and if you like more fitting you can decrease the side down as well totally up to you all right and also this is very easy to adjust the sizes as well all right I hope you enjoy and let's get started here is the materials that I use for this project for this project you will need size 3 lightweight DK yarn and I use line brand trubu yarn this is size 3 lightweight dk yarn and then in each ball is have 241 yards or 220 meter this is 100 percent rayon from bamboo the color that i use is tan all right this is my second time using this yarn and i love it so much <laughs> and if you want to substitute yarn just please check the gauge and look for size 3 lightweight DK yarn. And then for size small, here is what I have left from the fourth ball. Okay, it is about 890 yards, something like that. Okay, just for size small. Every size is, is different. Crochet hook, size 5 millimeter. Scissors, your needle, and two stitch markers. Before we start, I just want to talk about this pattern a little bit. For this pattern, I'll use the Drunken Granny Stitch. And I just post the video tutorial how to make the Drunken Granny Stitch. If you want to check it out, I'll put the link in the description below. I'll go step by step in that tutorial how to make this stitch. Alright, so for this stitch pattern, it's multiple of 5 plus 4 chains. If you don't know what is multiple of 5 plus 4 chain, so you're going to make 5 chain, 5 chain, 5 chain, 5 chain. And then at the end, you're going to add 4 more chain. That is multiple of 5 plus 4 chains. And this is one row repeat, which is row 3. If you want longer, you add more rows. If you want shorter, you make less row. Just repeat row 3. This is very easy, beginner friendly. <laughs> And for my swatch here, I use the same yarn that I gonna use for this top, but just different color, okay? And let's talk about the gauge here. So, three drunken granny stitches, and then six and a half rows equal four inches. Let me show you. So this gauge after block, okay? For me, I block, I use warm water not too warm and then i put my project into that water and then let it sit in there for like a 10 minutes and then i let it dry on the floor so i have three double crochet this is the chain two space and then one more double crochet here all into the same space it's called as one drunken granny stitch all right so three of that equal four inches see i have one, two, and three. Alright. And then the rows. Here, I have one row, two, three, four, five, six, and then and a half. Six and a half row equal four inches. Alright. 
let's talk about the side measurement here. So for this pattern, we're gonna make in two panels, make exactly the same, and we're gonna make from the top down. And the chain when we start is gonna be the width, and the rows we make gonna be the length. Okay. And after I have two panels, I will lay them like this, and then I will sew them at the shoulder seam here. So the back and the front panel together, and then leave some space open for the neck area as well. And then after that, you don't need to sew the side seam or anything because we're gonna use the drawstring to close up the side seam. And also the drawstring, you can wear it many different ways. And let's talk about the measurement. So the width across back, it is about 25.33 inches width. And then the length, about 24 inches long. All of this just for size small. I'm just gonna show you in size small for this tutorial. You can check your size on my blog for free. All right, good luck and let's get started. Okay, uh, we're gonna start with a slip knot. You can use any method you prefer for making a slip knot. And then I'm gonna make 99 chains, okay? Loosely. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, I will be back when I have 99 chains. Now I have 99 chains, and for row one, gonna be the right side. For an odd number row, gonna be the right side. For an even number row, gonna be the wrong side. So row one is the right side. And again, we work from the top down, okay? So I'm gonna skip the first five chains and then into the next chain, I'm gonna make a drunken granny stitch. For the drunken granny stitch, you're gonna make three double crochet, chain two and one double crochet all into the same stitch. So first, skip five chains. So skip one, skip two, skip three, skip four, skip five. And then into the next stitch, we're gonna make a drunken granny stitch. So yarn over. After I skip five, I insert the hook into the next chain. Yarn over, pull up a loop. I have three loops on my hook. I yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. And then repeat that. Yarn over, insert the hook into the same chain. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Repeat that. Yarn over. Insert the hook into the same chain. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. And after I have three double crochet, I'm gonna chain two. One and two. And then make one more double crochet into the same chain. So yarn over. Insert the hook into the same chain. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. And now we have one drunken granny stitch. So I have three double crochet, chain two, and one double crochet all into the same chain. It's called as one drunken granny stitch. All right. And then the first five chain that we skip is called as one double crochet and two chain space. Okay. The first three chains always count as one double crochet. All right. So next I'm going to skip four chains and then into the next chain I'm gonna make a drunken granny stitch again. So I skip one, skip two, skip three, four and then into the next chain make a drunken granny stitch. Again the drunken granny stitch we start with three double crochet first. Okay, now I have three double crochet, and then next, chain two, and then make one more double crochet into the same chain. All right, now I have two drunken granny stitches, and then repeat that across. We're gonna skip four chains. One, two, three, and four. And then into the next chain, make a drunken granny stitch. So, start with three double crochet first. 
one, two, and three. And then chain two, one, two, and then make one double crochet into the same chain. All right. Just keep repeating this. Let me show you one more time. We're going to skip four chains. Sometimes the chain, after you make the drunken granny stitch, is high on the back like that. You have to open it up a little bit. Be careful that you might accidentally skip that chain. Okay, it's happened to me before. So yeah, anyways. So I skip one, skip two, three, and four. And then into the next chain, make a drunken granny stitch. So start with three double crochet. Oops, sorry. Here's one, two, and three. And then chain two, one, two, and then make one more double crochet into the same chain. All right, so far I have four drunken granny stitches. And then you're just gonna keep repeating this until you have three chain left. So next, you're gonna skip four chain and then make a drunken granny stitch into the next chain. Skip four chain, make a drunken granny stitch into the next chain. Repeating that until you have three chain left and then I will be back. Okay, now I have three chain left at the end of row one. I'm gonna skip two chains and then make one double crochet into the next chain, which is the last chain. So I yarn over my hook, I skip the next two chain, insert the hook into the last chain, pull up a loop, oops, sorry, okay, <laughs> I have three loops on my hook, I yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, all right, and then at the end of row one, I have a total of 19 drunken granny stitch, and then for row two, chain three, one, two, three. And then turn, or you can turn first and chain, doesn't matter. And in the first three chains, like I said, always count as one double crochet. And then into each chain two spaces, we're gonna make a drunken granny stitch. So, again, start with three double crochet. Here is one, two, and three. And then chain two. And then make one more double crochet into the same space. Here is the first drunken granny stitch that I have on row two. And then into the next chain two space, just repeat that, make a drunken granny stitch. So start with three double crochet first. Two and three. And then chain two, one, two. And make one more double crochet into the same space. Very easy. All right, keep repeating that into each two chain space. So next two chain space, make a drunken granny stitch. Oops. Okay. Okay. I have three double crochet. I chain two, and then make one more double crochet into the same space. All right, let me show you one more time. The next two chain space here, make a drunken granny stitch. Start with three double crochet first. And then chain two, and then one more double crochet into the same space. Here's what it looks like so far. So far, row two, I have four drunken granny stitches. All right, just keep repeating that into each chain two space across, and then I will be back when I'm at the end here. I'm at the end of row two here, and to end the row two, we're gonna make one double crochet into the fifth chain here. Remember, row one, we skip the first five chain, and then right into that fifth chain. We're gonna make the last double crochet right there. Okay, so I yarn over my hook, insert my hook right into that fifth chain. 
okay yarn over pull up a loop and make the last double crochet there and then the end of row 2 I have the same 19 drunken granny stitches because we're not increase or decrease and then for row 3 we're gonna chain 3 always count as one double crochet and turn or you can turn first and chain doesn't matter and then into each chain two spaces we're gonna do the same we're gonna make a drunken granny stitch into each chain two space so after i chain three i'm gonna make the first drunken granny stitch into the first chain two space here again start with three double crochet and then chain two and then make one more double crochet into the same space and then next space here make a drunken granny stitch start with three double crochet and then chain two and then one more double crochet into the same space all right let me show you one more time next space here Make a drunken granny stitch. We start with three double crochet. I crochet pretty fast because it's the same pattern. Okay, have three double crochet and chain two and then make one more double crochet into the same space. Like that. All right, keep making a drunken granny stitch into each chain two spaces until the end and then I will be back. I'm at the end of row 3 here and to end the row 3 we're gonna make one double crochet into the third chain right here so yarn over hook insert the hook into that third chain yarn over pull up a loop and make the last double crochet there always make the last double crochet into the third chain because the first three chains always count as one double crochet all right the row 3 is the pattern row repeat. So for row 4 to row 39, I'm gonna repeat row 3. Alright? And if you want a shorter top, make less row. And if you want a longer top, just make more row. Just repeat row 3. Alright? Let me show you row 4, a few stitches here. So, repeat row 3. We chain 3 and then turn and then make the first drunken granny stitch right into that first chain two space so start with three double crochet and then chain two and one more double crochet into the same space and then into the next space make a drunken granny stitch again so start with three double crochet chain two and one more double crochet into the same space as you can see it's the same pattern all right i show you one more time so next space here make a drunken granny stitch again so start with three double crochet and then chain two and then one more double crochet into the same space oops all right here's what it look like you are just gonna keep repeating row three over and over for me i am gonna make 39 rows total and i will be back when i'm at the end of row 39 if you cannot remember rewind the video okay good luck take your time i will be back soon okay now i have 39 rows this is the end of row 39 it's pretty big here okay and then next don't cut the yarn yet we're gonna crochet around the edge so we're gonna crochet around the left edge first and then when we reach the end here we're gonna cut the yarn and then we're gonna crochet the right edge right here we add a new yarn here and then crochet down that way okay don't worry i will show you so here is the end of row 39 and then next, I turn this way and I'm gonna crochet around this edge up. Okay, so 
we're gonna call change into the end of each row I call that space instead so into each space which is the end of each row we're gonna make one single crochet pico and one single crochet all into the same space all right so this is the last stitch of row 39 and then that gonna be the first space all right so make a single crochet first so I insert my hook into that space and then yarn over put up a loop I have two loops on my hook I yarn over and pull through those two loops and then I gonna make a pico so for the pico we gonna chain three one two three and then make a slip stitch into the little bump on the back of the first chain that we did here okay so right there I insert my hook there and then pull up a loop and pull it through that is the pickle and then I'm gonna make one more single crochet into the same space insert the hook into the same space yarn over pull up a loop two loops on the hook yarn over and pull through those two loops here's what it looks like we have a single crochet we have a pickle and we have another single crochet all into the same space and we're just gonna repeat that into each space a cloth don't worry I'll show you a few more times so next space here gonna start with a single crochet first and then pico we chain three and then slip stitch into the little bump on the back of the first chain that we did here okay here's the first chain you turn a little bit you'll see the little bump on the back into the first chain insert the hole in there pull up a loop and pull it through and then make one more single crochet into the same space all right repeat that into the next space make a single crochet and then a pickle we make three chains and then slip stitch into the little bump on the back of the first chain that we did here right here insert the hook there pull up a loop and pull it through and then make one more single crochet into the same space here's what it looks like so far let me show you one more time repeat the same thing make a single crochet and then pickle we chain three and then slip stitch into the first chain that we did here set the hook there pull up a loop and pull it through and then make one more single crochet into the same space all right pretty easy right okay I gonna keep making a single crochet pico and single crochet into each space all the way across here until the end until this corner and then I will be back take your time okay now I crochet around the left edge until I reach the end here this corner here and then next I gonna make a slip stitch right into that corner stitch right here insert the hook there pull up a loop and pull it through and then cut the yarn I leave about 14 16 inches long tail enough to sew the shoulder seam the back and the front panel together so this part is gonna be the shoulder part okay so yeah about 14 16 inches long tail and then after that I bring my yarn out like that and here is we have the left side edge done and then next we are gonna crochet on the right side edge and now with the right side facing up still we're gonna add a new yarn right here okay so I just gonna turn this way and then I gonna add the yarn right into this corner here I gonna insert my hook into the the corner chain here so if you count from the stitch that we made right here it's gonna be the third chain it's gonna be right at the corner there and then I bring the new yarn and then hold it on the back and then yarn over hook pull up a loop and then I pull it out and then I just gonna tie a knot just to lock a yarn 
and after I attach a new yarn, I'm gonna insert my hook right into that first space. Yarn over, pull up a loop, and then chain one. And then the chain one doesn't count it as stitch. And then I'm just gonna make a single crochet. So I insert the hook into the same space. Yarn over, pull up a loop. I have two loops on my hook. I yarn over and pull through those two loops. That is the single crochet. And then now I'm gonna make a pico. So pico, we chain three. And then slip stitch into the little bump on the back of the first chain that we did. Right here. Insert the hook there. Pull up a loop and pull it through. And then make one more single crochet into the same space. Insert the hook into the same space. Pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through those two loops. And then repeat the same into the next space. Make a single crochet. And then pico. Pico we chain three, one, two, three, and then slip stitch into the little bump on the back of the first chain that we did. Right here. Insert the hook, pull up a loop and pull it through. And then make one more single crochet into the same space. Okay, let me show you one more time. Next space here, make a single crochet first, and then pico, chain three. And then slip stitch into the little bump on the back of the first chain that we did. And then make one more single crochet into the same space. Alright, just keep repeating this into each space down until the end here. And if you make this edge already, you can make this edge because it's made exactly the same. Alright, I gonna keep Repeating that until I reach the end here and then I will be back. Good luck. Okay, now I'm at the end here and then next I just gonna slip stitch right into that corner stitch here. So the hook there, pull up a loop and pull it through. And then cut the yarn. You don't need to leave a long tail for this side. Just Leave a little bit of tail, just enough to weave in the end later, and then pull the yarn out. This is going to be the bottom of the top. Okay, and now we have the right edge and then the left edge. And we done with one panel. And then next, you're going to make one more of this panel exactly the same. When you make the left edge, left side edge make sure to leave a long tail exactly the same all right so i'm gonna go ahead and make the other panel real quick and then i will be back soon okay next after you have two of these panels we're gonna sew the back and the front panel together at the shoulder seam and it doesn't matter which panel you choose to be the front or the back because they are the same so I already sew one shoulder here both shoulder sew exactly the same that's why I went ahead and sew this shoulder first all right so before we sew I want you to place the panels wrong side facing up right side facing down we're gonna sew on the wrong side and I am gonna use the tail that I left earlier to sew and you can use any method you prefer for sew okay you also can slip stitch or single crochet to sew totally up to you i just gonna use my yarn needle and the tail that i left earlier and sew back and forth and then for the shoulder here i sew total of six stitches of the drunken granny stitch together let me show you so here is one group, two, three, four, five, and six. And then I count the same on the back panel. I count one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I gonna sew those six drunken granny stitches together here. All right. And this part is totally up to you. If you want smaller neck area you can sew more stitches and if you want wider neck area you're gonna sew less stitches on the shoulders but both shoulders have to have the same amount of these stitches all right 
that's why it's nice and even. Okay, so I have my yarn needle and the tail here ready to go and I will show you how to sew on this side. Let me zoom in real quick here. Okay, so the tail is come from my back panel. I just gonna remove the stitch marker and then I gonna insert my yarn needle into the corner stitch here of the front panel. Around there, okay, bring it up. And then I gonna insert right into the same stitch where the tail come from on the back panel there, just to lock the yarn. All right, and then next, I just gonna sew back and forth. So, insert into the next chain here, and then next chain there. Bring it up. Be careful, this part don't sew it too tight, okay? Try to loosen up a little bit, but not too loose. Sorry, I have my tail here. Okay. <laughs> and then next chain here. And then next chain there. And then big gap here, big gap there. And then next chain here. And next chain there. Just take your time. And then next chain here, and then next chain there. Bring it up. Next chain here, and then next chain there. Next chain here, and then next chain there and then this big gap here and then big gap there and then next chain here and next chain there like that I'm just gonna keep so back and forth like that here's what it looks like so far this is the wrong side and here is the right side okay and I gonna keep sewing back and forth until I reach this stitch marker here. Let me show you this side here I sew already. This is the wrong side. And here is the right side. Alright, good luck. Make sure don't sew it too tight, okay? I will be back soon. Okay, now I reach this stitch marker here. And then I already sew into that stitch. So I just gonna remove this stitch marker and I gonna sew into the same stitch one more time. Just kinda lock the yarn. Alright, and then I gonna weave the end. So I insert back this way. Make sure that the needle doesn't go through the right side. Okay. Bring it here. And then I just gonna tie a knot one more knot <laughs> just in case. And then keep hiding the tail. 
you can tie more than a couple knots totally up to you and then I insert back this way okay keep hiding the tail make sure it's secure and then trim the tail and you're done and both shoulder like I say so exactly the same and then after that you just need to whip all the ends and you're done with the top part and then I will show you how to make the drawstrings okay next we're gonna make the drawstrings and I already make one here we're gonna make two exactly the same it's pretty long all right so first make a slip knot and use any method you prefer for making a slip knot and then I gonna make chains until I reach about 56 to 60 inches all right so just make a normal chains all right I gonna keep making the chain and then I will be back when I have my chain reach about 58 inches long okay now I have my chain reach about 58 inches long I want you to check your chains make sure that can wrap around your waist and you can tie a bow after that as well okay all right for me I think 58 inches long is perfect okay so after I have 58 inches long chain I gonna slip stitch into the second chain from the hook but I insert my hook into the little bump on the back of the chain okay so here the second chain I turn a little bit and I insert my hook into that little bump on the back of the second chain from the hook there and then pull up a loop and pull it through and then just keep making slip stitch into each chain across and if you prefer to insert your hook into the V shape here the normal chain you can do that as well but I recommend insert the hook into the little bump on the back of the chain all right totally up to you so here's my next chain again I insert into the little bump on the back of the next chain here pull up a loop and pull it through next chain I insert into the next bump sometimes it's difficult to insert the hook into <laughs> pull up a loop and pull it through next bump insert the hook pull up a loop and pull it through I insert my hook into the next bump here pull up a loop and pull it through insert into the next bump pull up a loop and pull it through all right I just gonna keep making a slip stitch into each bump across oops okay <laughs> Let me point out for you real quick here. Okay, so here is the normal chain, right? The V shape. But if you turn on the back, you'll see the little bump on the back of the chain there. This is the little bump on the back of the next chain, little bump on the back of the next chain. The next one. All right. I gonna keep slip stitch into the little bump on the back of the chain until I reach the end here and then I will be back okay now I slip stitch across here and then next I just gonna cut the yarn leave a little bit of tail just enough to weaving the end later and then pull the yarn out that's it for the drawstrings and you need to make two of this okay make sure that you have the same length and after you make two of this and weave all the ends and then I will show you how to insert the drawstrings into your top okay next I will show you how to insert the drawstrings into your top with three different ways you can do that all right so before we do make sure to turn your top right side out and right now my top right side out this on the side okay and here is the neck area here is the shoulder seam here is the other shoulder seam 
I already insert the drawstring into one side here. The first method that I'm gonna show you. Here is the armhole, and then I leave the side open. All right, I will show you how to do on that side. So I gonna skip fourteen rows. Start count from the top down, and then I gonna insert the drawstring into the row fifteen. All right. So I skip one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and then into that. Row fifteen, I insert the drawstring there, and then count the back exactly the same. Skip fourteen rows. So, and then I insert the drawstring into the back panel like that, and make sure the drawstring is even. All right, and now we're just gonna insert like um, back and forth, like you tie a shoe. <laughs> so. The one from the back panel, I insert back into the next space of the front panel here, like that. And then the one from the front, I go back to the back, like that. Okay, and the one from the back, come to the front. The one from the front, go to the back. The one from the back, come to the front. The front go to the back like that. I'm gonna do that ten rows. So so far I have four rows. Okay. This is adjustable and removable, so don't have to worry about that so much. Okay, now I have ten rows here, yeah? and then I'm gonna tie a bow. Like that, very cute. I love it. Here the armhole. Here's the side that we just saw, and here is the the bottom of the side open. Very very cute. And both sides you do the same. All right. This is the first method, and I will show you in the picture there what it look like in the first method. And then for the second method, just. Remove it. Okay, for the second method, I put the top facing up like that. See, here is the neck area. Okay, here the shoulder. Here the shoulder. Put it up, and then I just use one drawstring. All right, I gonna insert around. Just see where it's gonna be around your waist. Okay, so. Let's see around here. You have to try it on. So I just insert the drawstring into this space, and then I gonna go through the back, the same spot, okay? And then I bring this end around the other side and come from the back to the front. I'm not sure this is the best way to show, but uh, I think you know what I, I'm doing, right? So here at the bottom. So I just gonna bring this around the other side on the back. It's gonna go around your back, and then this line should be around here, here, and then I bring from the back on the front like that, and then I can tie a bow. I love this method. See. It's very cute, and then the side will look like this. It's kind of open, okay? You wear the tank top inside, it will be fine. It's so cute, though. I love it so much. Look at that. All right, and I also gonna show you in the picture there with the second method here. Okay, next the last method. We do that very easy. The last one, just wrap around. Okay, so I just gonna wrap around. I can go from the back here and just wrap around. It's 
gonna look better when you wear for real. <laughs> Just wanna give you some idea here. And then tie a bow. This one very cute as well. And you can substitute this with your favorite belt. This method and in the second method you can wear with your belt. Okay, that's it. Congratulations. I hope you enjoy crochet this beautiful top. If you did, please give this video a big thumb up and share this video with your friends. I would appreciate it so much and it's helped me out a lot. And I would love to see everyone's work. If you want to share with me, just text me at knitcrowaddict. And also, I'll put the link in the description below. You can tag me on Facebook or Instagram. I would love to see everyone's work. Alright, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next video. Bye-bye!